Thanks again for joining us for another All Terra Central technical video. Today we're going to cover TerraFlex, specifically the latest enhancements, including breadcrumb logging and XYZ auto fields. All right, here we're going to look at an overview of what we're going to discuss. First, there has to be a map workspace created, and we're assuming that step. I'm not going to show that here in this video. We are going to configure a map workspace template so that we can include those XYZ fields among other auto fields. We're also going to configure the app itself on the handheld and toggle on breadcrumb logging most importantly. Then we're going to review a field collected point and look at those XYZ fields. Then we're going to review the map workspace after the data has been sunk from the field to the office. And then we're going to export that as a shapefile and the breadcrumb itself as a CSV. So we can bring this into GIS software, specifically ArcGIS Pro, to look at that data. Okay, now we'll create a new template. We'll go ahead and give the template a name point. Form geometry must be captured and enable field update behavior. I'll drag in some fields, starting with a text field name, a choice field for the type of point. We'll go ahead and put in the values here. We'll also make sure to check the show other option so that if none of these values fit the bill, um, the other option will be there for the user to put in manually. After we complete this, we're going to go ahead and put in a, an image field for taking a photo. Go ahead and add some auto fields. We'll start with collector, created on for the date. We'll make sure all these auto fields are visible. Updated date, estimated horizontal and vertical accuracy. And then finally, the highlight here would be the XYZ auto field to actually show our northern easting elevation or easting northern elevation here in the field and post field. Now we'll go ahead and add some additional auto fields here, including the device, the workspace, and we'll go ahead and do the correction status. Go ahead and add a notes field because that's best practice and publish. At this point, let's move to the handheld and sync our device. We'll open the project and take a look at the settings here within TerraFlex. You'll notice that we've got the integrated here with the TDC 650, our antenna height set. We'll change our real time to use WAS. For this particular case, we'll go ahead and scroll down and we'll be sure to select breadcrumb logging. Okay, here you'll see a point that was collected and you'll see the X, Y, and Z position reported there in the attributes. Now let's take a look at our map workspace here with our sync data. We'll see that we've got 22 forms. You'll see the XYZ position here when we identify a feature. We'll go ahead and download these for export. And we'll change it to a shape file here. And go ahead and click export. We'll go ahead and go to Trimble Connect here on the other tab. And we're going to go ahead and look for the breadcrumbs folder. We'll start by going up through the list here within the connect project that we're within. We see a breadcrumbs file folder. We're going to go in there. We see the one with our project name. And what we want to do here, you'll see there's more than one breadcrumb file. Now look at the size, right? 9.25 kilobytes is the largest. So that's the one that we're going to want. The other ones are likely files generated at the beginning and possibly the end of the data collection session. So be careful which one you choose, and you can always review the CSV to confirm if it makes sense. Now we're downloading the CSV. We'll go ahead and save that and take a look at it. So you'll see here we've got five fields, one representing date, time, northing, easting, elevation, and accuracy. We'll go ahead and open up ArcGIS Pro. We're actually gonna bring the shape file in that we downloaded upon export from TerraFlex on Connect. And then we'll also go ahead and bring in the CSV. Here's the shape file. It zooms to the extent. So let's take a look at the attribute table here. You'll see we've got a couple of photos. We see our metadata here. And then most importantly, as we scroll over, we see our X, Y, and Z position built into our attribute table. We'll go ahead and add the CSV. Once we add the CSV to ArcGIS Pro, we can right-click and look at the table. 
it looks good, we'll go ahead and add XY data from the CSV by right clicking and saying display XY data. This will allow us to place the points where they are based on their easting northing elevation. And then we need to be careful to choose the proper coordinate system, which would be State Plain, New Mexico Central, NAD 83, 2011. We'll hit the globe here and make sure we specify the Z coordinate system. Basically the vertical datum, which is gravity related, mean sea level, NAVD 88 height, feet US, would be the geoid 18 conus. Now we can set some colors here to differentiate our breadcrumb from our actual explicitly collected features. So we'll go ahead and change those colors here. Now let's go ahead and set our point order here, our drawing order, and rename our features. So our breadcrumb trail is very distinctly different from our actual explicitly collected data. I'm also going to bring in some reference imagery here from the county that I'm in. So we can take a look at it a little bit closer. What you'll see as we zoom in is that this is WAS collected data. This imagery is very accurately geo-referenced, so we're a little bit off of our explicitly collected features, but you can see the breadcrumb, and it's a nice representation of where I've been during my data collection. Thanks again for joining us for another Altera Central technical video.